welcome from Freddie and myself. Let's create today some little whimsical slow stitch dogs. Let's gather all our little scraps and bits of fabric and do some slow stitching. Dogs come in all shapes and sizes. For my little slow stitch dog, I'm starting with the base of a circle. So I drew round, I found a ramekin dish and drew round. Hmm. So I've got some backing. Quite this is how I quite often start, isn't it? I've got some backing and some wadding. And now I'm finding tiny little patches from WYSIWYG. My handy, look, it's on my lap. There we are. Oh, and there's Freddy. <laughs> and simply just slow stitching them on as I always say any stitch goes I just I'm just tending to do in and out stitches at the moment But you use whatever stitches you know, big or small stitches. And I don't mind if they show at the back either. It makes it nice and quilty, I think. Now, what are your ideas for dog design? Oh, this was Freddie. And his little friend Ursa, she's in Newfoundland. After sewing the cats, I think Freddie and lots of people thought, oh, let's do a slow stitch dog. So Flo and I are up for the challenge. <laughs> It's important when we slow stitch just to make sure we're not all scrunched over and concentrating hard on what we're doing, trying to relax a little bit and make sure we don't overdo it with our hands as well. I found I made like a little shape let me show you for the muzzle of my little dog again the dogs are all different shapes and sizes aren't they <laughs> oh cut round that and I'm going to do the same so lots of little scraps of fabric on should we call him patch patch the dog And sew some little bits and pieces on this one. That's it. Backing. And there. Let's have a look. Yes. Those are the outside bits, yep. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to cover this with a patchwork of 
little tiny bits and pieces. I also want to, I've got a tab with this beautiful puppy dog tails, snips and ta snips and snails. Isn't that lovely? I've been making little loops because I've got some ideas for these. So I'll share that in a minute. So make sure I pin this on. So these little loops, this little loop gets sewn in. To take a nice breath as well. Mm. Ah, no rush. You can just sit and sit and relax and do some sewing. Use what you have for the backing. You can use wadding, or I've, I've yes, I've got wadding here, or you can use an old T-shirt or an old fleecy blanket. See what you've got. I leave all the frayed edges because I like the, I like the effect it gives. But you might, yeah, you might choose to do it a different way. That's it because there's no right or wrong. Hmm. This little dog's definitely evolving. I found, I just put things out randomly. I found in the bag this lace, maybe it's a tablecloth that I dyed poppy tea dyed and instead of being scrap scrappy no patch instead of being patch I think this dog is becoming scraps do you remember you know the little dogs that just can't get their just can't get their hairdos right <laughs> they just look scruffy <laughs> oh lovely so I just pop him layering some of this lace on top. Ah, oh, lovely. Just, yeah. Just scrunching it up, really. Now, because these dogs, they're whimsical. <laughs> they're whimsical, so... Ah, yeah, so it doesn't, yeah, they can look however you want them to look, whimsical and practical. Shall I show you one of the uses for the little, for the little dogs? I'll show you one now and one later. <laughs> Made this little fella here. Isn't it gorgeous with this little mismatched? Same pattern. Oh, yes. I've got to do the ears. I'd forgotten about the ears. Yes, just any old how the ears. But you might have a dog with pointy ears and might want to do just pointy ears. I've done mine lopsided -y angle. And on the back here, I've put a little round of fabric with some wadding underneath and he is going to be used as a little pin cushion just goes through that wadding there and he can be pinned on let's find a pin i've got this rather grand pin here here we are he can be pinned on a sewing bag. 
lions used to have tea shops back in the 40s and 50s. And I remember my mum and dad went to the one in, in London in coronation year. 1953. Oh, look, already. Those came off linen trousers of mine. Oh, now let's have a look. Let's rehearse it. Oh, drop the button. Oh, yes. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've pinned the muzzle on. They start to come alive once you've... Once you've put the buttons on. Put the eyes. Let's see. Where's that? Different. I love different sizes. I think the blue will be different. Oh, oh, that. Oh, I like it. Oh, look at that vintage button there. That might be good for the nose. I've done the nose button smaller. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's just lovely to look through. Norwegian cotton here that I've used for couching the mouth on and for this for little scruffy I think it would be nice to have one of these greens don't you which one I think the darker one so it'll show up pop the little thread right under the nose and with couching, it's just a case of going over thread, in and out stitches, over the thread, just catching it. There, that's it. And I'm going to do that in the shape of his little mouth, making it nice and nice and wonky. I will also be adding some shiny green and sewing this muzzle round. But for now, I think we'll have a nice cup of tea together, shall we? And a little chat and let me show you the idea I've had for this one. I've sewn his little eyes on and for ears I've scrunched up some of the 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 lace the tablecloth lace it's amazing how things evolve isn't it yeah now for this little one I haven't put a backing on and I think this one's going to be called patch and he's going to live on my denim bag. What do you think, Fred? So, whimsical and practical. <laughs> oh, I've so enjoyed creating these little, little um, slow stitch dogs this week. Oh, wonderful. And I know that you're going to come up with loads of ideas of your own too. You might want to customise them to your, the shape of your your dog. I've got got my lovely napkin down here. I've got another cup of tea and some Marmite toast and a little slice of marmalade toast. <laughs> As I always say, living the dream. Mm. I like the way that the little dogs or our slow stitch projects just change and evolve depending on what little pieces of fabric and scraps we choose. Oh, what we have, yeah. Hmm. 
I got this week through the post a zine from Lynn and it's got bumblebees on it. Oh, let me show you. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fingerprint, oh, fingerprint bees. And then fingerprint under the water and, oh, little, ah, oh, little scenes. Oh, it's gorgeous. Even a fingerprint horse, oh, Lynn. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got some fabric that Melanie, when she was over, the other day, she gave me this bumblebee fabric. So I'm going to actually be making a fabric pocket in my altered book here and with the bumblebee fabric and popping the zine in. Thank you, Melanie, and thank you so much. Lynn for thinking about me. That was lovely. I'll pop that there and that's some sewing for the week. It's just lovely to have little projects set up, isn't it? You know, they might come in to hear and think one day. Oh, one of the days, like, uh, sit back here so you can see Freddie. <laughs> one of the days and think, oh, I'd like to do that pocket. Mm. I wonder how Flo got on creating a little dog in her slow stitch book. Oh Flo, you made a Freddy. He absolutely adorable. I think she's done a great job, don't you? <laughs> oh, lovely. I think Freddie approves. Mm. Yeah, these would be great. For if you don't want to pop, make pin cushions or bag patches, you might want to put them in your normal journals or your fabric journals. Hmm. Oh, shall we light a candle? Just have that little moment's peace and quiet. Time for contemplating in a busy world. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, pick you on first. <laughs> oh, dear. It's like a fashion. This is—is is this a fashion vlog? I know. <laughs> what have you got? It, it's a little doggy. Oh, I like this. 
Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Puppy thank dog you. tails. So my that slow stitching. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Whimsical yeah, and practical. And it's better in person and in the light, actually. Oh, right. Because yeah. I did show you. On... Yeah. Let's uh, let's. Yeah. Get another I did up. show yeah. you one. Nice bag. FaceTime. Oh, thanks. Oh yeah, no, like Sam it. bought me the bag, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it goes well. Nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Very <laughs> Bye. practical. Bye. <laughs> She's off. <laughs>